All right, so here's another drawing. I honestly wasn't planning to videotape this. Um, I started sketching it out, and I just got done cleaning up all the mess, all the uh, little landmarks. I'm not really interested in making it look exactly like this girl, and there's a really slow-moving uh, portrait. This is another opportunity for me to... Uh, experiment and I wanted to carry if you've seen my other video on playing with gray tones using uh, my pastel pencils using you know four or five shades of grays and of course black and white and I thought instead of doing it on black paper like I've done on a few other ones I said you know what if I just did it on you know, regular uh, toned paper. Uh, this is actually the uh, watercolor, just like what I did with the white, uh, excuse me, just like I did with the black paper, I just toned it with burnt umber, I believe it was, or walnut ink, I can't remember. I believe this was the ink one. And uh, I toned it with that first, and then I gave it a little bit of tooth by adding a little clear gesso. And uh, I decided, you know, what the hell, I'll, I'll film it. And if it works out, I'll post it and you'd be listening to my voice and watching my hand move. If it doesn't work out, then I just won't post it. So hopefully this is a, a successful experiment. I got the majority of the crap that I see on her face and all of that, which is good enough. And that's another thing about drawing and practicing drawing. You know, it's, it's great. You should always practice towards accuracy. But... Sometimes, just for the sake of having a good time, just, just for practice, you can kind of rush through it. Even though I tell you, you know, like every video, slow down and take your time. Sometimes, just for the sake of practicing shading, or in my case, using gray tones rather than uh, my charcoal, my white, just to explore a different technique. I just go with the, uh, the flavor of the day this beautiful girl here she's going to be the flavor of the day this is what i'm going to try to use as a guide as my reference if it looks like her in the end great if it looks kind of like her great if it doesn't look like her i just don't care it's not meant to be uh anything but an experiment in material and time try to see if i can make this work and so I want, if anything, that's what I want you to take away from this little tutorial is, you know, sometimes it's just fun to experiment and play around with materials and not worry about being so uh, exact, okay? Now, obviously, I think a majority of the time you should try to make it look like your Uncle Bob or whoever it is you're drawing. But in this case, because I'm experimenting with materials and not the accuracy of the drawing, I just wanted it to look like a young white female that's what i got there that's what i believe i see here done that's all i care about right now race age gender those are the three main things that i try to tell people to focus on race age gender here we got a what white young female race age gender if this drawing looked like an old black guy that would be a very severe that would be a very bad day for me because this lady does not look anything like an old black dude so do I see a, uh, a a white young female, race, age, gender, white young female? Yep, that's what I believe I drew. That's what I see there. I call it a success. That's it. That's it. That's my my measure of success when it comes to uh, practicing and portrait drawing. Hopefully that kind of uh, mindset takes away some of that stress that we feel when we're drawing and you feel like, you know, this is not looking right and you know, I, I got to practice this and I practice that. And you start throwing all sorts of stuff out there in your head and you just confuse yourself further. It's a great way to just practice your technique. All right. So I hope you get something out of this. And if you do, uh, hit like. And hopefully you learn something new. And if you can, subscribe. And uh, you'll get yourself uh, more alerts as to my next video. All right. So let's get started.